morning. Uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle... I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ugh, whatever it is, we'll handle it. Hey, it can't be worse than yesterday, right? <sighs> it's quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins Wait. we might have missed before. Okay. Really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. It'll be tough to find something to brace against. Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. Got them to test the bridge first. Son of a. Hey, hey. No, you don't! <laughs> Exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. It's so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. After her death, it was more lonely. That did it. Nice. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. All full up. Can't carry any more. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. 
Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, free. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No, don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, 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 why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. Me too. Friends, colleagues, she's brilliant. Hmm. So, you're not... Oh, uh, no, <laughs> nothing like that. No, I'm uh, pretty single. Interesting. Inca? No, not me. My ancestors, a uh, long way back. And then they were Quechua, and then after that it gets Mori. I don't even speak the language. I think I might know what that's like. Where are you from? Hawaii. New Zealand. Mm. Which one feels like home? Both of them. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Lived here most of my life. Got my pilot's license in Lima, but when the oil company closed and I heard what was happening here, I decided to come home. Would you ever live anywhere else? Yeah. Now that things are under control, it might be nice to travel again. You into football? It's a pretty big sport around here. <laughs> yeah, I used to play, but things have been a bit busy lately. Probably for the best. Football's okay, but rugby, there's a real sport. No way. You gotta change your mind about that. I'd like to see you try. Those are some impressive tattoos. You too. Do you have any others? Yeah. What are they? Well, that's a secret, but maybe you'll find out someday. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? 
No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years I've been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now... Who is that guy anyway? barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Good all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's all- Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss him off. Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Want to replace you. What? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Uh, oh my god. Please help me. Are you okay? They're coming after me. Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. 
Thanks again. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again.